Hello, welcome back to your new video. In previous video, I had shown you how you can convert MATLAB figure into a code. In this video, I am going to show you how you can calculate a linear correlation. So there are two main important coefficients known as correlation and the covariance. Correlation quantifies the strength of a linear relationship between two variables. However, Covariance quantifies the strength of linear relationship between two variables in units of relative to their variance. So there are three main uh, functions available into MATLAB to calculate correlation and covariance. So first MATLAB function is core coefficient, right? So here this is a MATLAB function which calculates correlation coefficient matrix and this function calculates covariance matrix and this function calculates cross correlation sequence of a random process. So that means how two variables, how two, um, how two variables are correlated with, uh, correlated with each other. Right. So let's calculate a few. Uh, let's calculate the covariance of a matrix. And uh, before that, we have to load the data. So let's load the sample data. Count that. That it is sample data provided by MATLAB. And uh, now let's calculate covariance. So what we can do? We can write here C where C where is equal to. COV that's the covariance and then we are going to calculate covariance of count let's print it now you can see here this is a covariance that means this is correlation this is a you know similarity between the covariances the similarity between variance strength so there are few properties here so the first property is covariance is a symmetric matrix. Now you can see here, this is a symmetric matrix, right? So this is symmetry across its main diagonal. And if you calculate the diagonal of this matrix, let's calculate the diagonal of C where. So the diagonal of this matrix is a vector of variances of each data column that's when variance of this um, uh, data column so let's say this is a count variable and uh, count has a three column and 24 rows and if we calculate variance of this count you will see here it matches it's a diagonal right it's matches 0 0.6437 that's when these diagonals are corresponding to variance of each column of this count. So this is corresponding to the variance of first column. This diagonal is corresponding to the variance of second column. And this is corresponding to the variance of a third column. And the square root of this diagonal is corresponding to the standard deviation. So if you write here SQRT, SQRT of C where that is corresponding to the standard deviation. Now let's calculate that standard deviation of count. Now you will see here the standard deviation of each column. So first column standard deviation is 25.3703. And the second column standard deviation is 41.4057 and the third column standard deviation is 68.0281. And of diagonal elements into this C where the of diagonal elements such as these elements and these three elements represents the covariance between individual data columns. So this represents that the covariance between first and the second column and this represents the covariance between first and the third column 
this represents the covariance between second and the third column and this of course represents the covariance between third and the third column itself so now let's calculate here correlation coefficient so the maximum and the minimum uh, correlations only lies in between 1 and the minus 1 so value in correlation close to 1 indicates that there is a positive linear relationship between the data columns and the value closest to minus 1 indicates that one column of the data has a negative relationship between another column so let's let me show you the count so the first column if you plot the first column here is the first column and if you plot the second column right here is second column and if you plot here a third column right so you will see there there is a little a linear relationship between these these three columns and we can calculate that linear relationship by using correlation function of a MATLAB and that can be done by using core coef so the core coef count let's calculate it into CR let's put it into a CR and uh, sorry its core coef yes right so it says that here now you can see here the off diagonal elements the values in the half diagonal elements are literally I mean the very high it's around 0 0.9599 and 0 0.9553 and 0 0.9331 this correlation coefficient clearly shows that there is a high correlation between these two these three data columns and let me show you that graphically how this is um, how this is uh, highly correlated with each other so if you plot this first right you will see here now let's select here new figure and let's plot second figure and now let's select here third and let's plot this third figure now we are going to bring all the figure into a foreground so you need to type here SHG it will bring last figure here okay and then we can bring here second figure and then we are going to bring here first figure right so if you see here these figures then you can clearly identify here that there is a strong correlation between these three data columns so there is a strong correlation between these three data columns that's why these correlation coefficients are very close to one and now suppose that if we if we invert this data right if we invert this data let's see what will happen so this correlation coefficients will definitely changes so what we are going to uh, do here we are going to replace a first column of count so for the first column we need to identify here all the rows of a first column is equal to of minus of all the rows of a first column right so this is simply going to replace the first column so see here this first column if we plot it now let's see here figure 2 and here is figure 3 now you might notice here that there is a there is a strong uh, negative correlation between these two data right so what I'm going to do I'm going to close these figures windows and then I am going to once again calculate the correlation coefficient CR1 so CR1 is core coef of count now you can see here clearly I had inverted uh, the first column so the correlation between first column and the second will be negative and the first column and the third column will be negative 
So you might here notice that the first row and the first column coefficients will be always negative. Why? Because first column represents that there is involvement of the first row and the first row is also represents that there is involvement of this first column. So this represents that the correlation between between the first column and the second row that means the first column and the second column and this represents that the correlation between the first column and third column right so I had inverted the data that's why it is showing that uh, inverted correlation there and if I invert full data then it will again once again it will become a positive data so this is all about correlation and the covariance calculation. So thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Bye bye. Have a nice day.